my name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's video, which is my entire physical TBR. So this is going to be all the books on my shelves, only books that I own that I have not read yet. So all the books that I have that I want to read. It's my physical TBR. And I kind of thought to myself, you know, I could sit here and hold up every single book that I have. But that's a lot of taking books off my shelves and then having to put them back on the shelves. And I was like, no, let's, let's switch it up a bit and let's take you on the journey with me through my shelves and I can just point out the books I have yet to read. So let's get going. So please excuse how messy the TBR cart is. I just kind of need to reorganize it a little bit. But this top shelf here are all books on my TBR, especially ones that I want to read soon or they're like my current reads. Like this is a library book. This is a book that I've started. And these two, these are all books here that I've started and I want to read soon. I want to read Babel soon. That's my current read. And then these three are books that I want to read quite soon. So <laughs> starting off great with the TBR cart. And then below that is more the long-term books I want to read. Like I want to get to these at some point, maybe more so when I am feeling it kind of probably next year. Like I just, I don't know. I'm less inclined to pick up these books right now, but I, I should, I should really pick up these books soon. Moving on to this shelf, there are no books on this shelf that I either haven't read or that I plan on keeping. Like if there's a book on the shelf I haven't read, I'm gonna unhaul it. Or it's probably my husband's book, honestly. That's also a possibility. Going down to this shelf, let's see, I've read The Other Side of Luck here by Ginger Johnson. This is a middle grade that I have not read, that I, I should get to. This shelf, there aren't any books on, oh, that's a lie. That is a bold-faced lie. Most of these I have read because they are like my second favorites. This series by Danny Swanson here, the second book was on my TBR cart. I've read the first one, and then this is the third and a companion. So these are two that I want to read yet. I just got to read the second one first. Down here on the bottom shelf, I have the eighth manga for Spy X Family. I haven't actually read that one yet, but that's a very quick fix. I've read all of these. I have not yet read this one. I got it last year. I could I thought it was spooky and like there's magical elements to it, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily spooky and then the colors sorry for the shaking. The colors are kind of wintry. But yeah, I just haven't felt like the right time to read this and it is middle grade, which I don't really read a lot of. But this is another one that I gotta get to. Um I read the Sabriel trilogy. I honestly cannot remember if I read Quilariel. I am... Nope. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm so sure I did. But Golden Hand back here. I haven't read Golden Hand. I honestly don't know why. Alright, if we scoot on over here. I have not read Unravel Me. I listened to the audiobook for Shatter Me and I wanted to continue the series audio. But, um... They didn't have it, and so it's been so long that I need to reread Shatter Me, and then I'll and then I'll read Unravel Me. So let's see. I've read those. I have I have not read The Kite Runner. I keep going back and forth on whether or not I'm going to. I know it's a good book. It's just not my personal taste in books. Although I feel like it is one that I should read, but because I, it makes it feel more like a requirement. So, that's why I haven't been prioritizing it. These two, I haven't read. I read the first one, but not these. Well, let's talk about, let's talk about Throne of Glass here. Let's talk about Throne of Glass here a second. I read it, but that was in middle school. And I should not have read it then. It was not the right time for me to read it. So I want to reread it. I, I'm basically acting like I haven't read it because I honestly don't remember anything other than female assassin main character. 
I don't remember anything. I don't understand the jokes or any of the references anywhere in the world. So I'm pretending like I haven't read it and it is on my TBR. I want to read, I want to do a whole reading vlog reading the entire series. So that will be something I focus on next year. Oh, I have not read, I have not read Mercury Boys either. I was gifted this book and I wasn't so sure about it. And then I saw a couple people talk about it, but I didn't too much about it. So we'll see. Um, these I have not read, I've been meaning to read for a long time. I'm pretty sure this was on my entire physical TBR video last year. I just gotta sit down and read it one of these days because it still sounds interesting. Dustin Grimm, one I got this year. I haven't read it yet. It is another spooky middle grade, so I am interested in reading it. The Tower of Nero. This is book five. I don't have any of the other books in the series, and I haven't read any of the other books in the series. I bought it because I was like, I know eventually I'm going to want to own the series and read it all. And it was a good price and in good condition, so I kind of just took advantage of the opportunity. Where the Briar Sleep by Eva Baven. I have started this, and I haven't finished it, so it's kind of there. Over here, I've read everything except for Briar Heart. Except this is a Sleeping Beauty retelling with differences in magic, and you're actually following the bodyguard kind of for Sleeping Beauty, but I think it's also queer. So yeah, this one it like caught my eye. It's it's one of those that I keep underestimating, but I still haven't read it. So like almost all of the books here I've read. The only one I haven't read is Verity here. Um, this was another one gifted to me and I keep going back and forth on if I'm gonna read it. It's like mystery thrilling but it doesn't sound super thrilling so we'll see. The only book here I haven't read is The Night and Its Moon. This is by Piper CJ. This uh, is actually a self-published book by a book talker and it's very steeped in mythology so it's one that I'm gonna give a try. It's also by Rep main character so yeah, I I am curious about that one. I just kind of need to sit down and read it on like a day I have nothing to do. That's pretty much all of them because I've read all these books and these are all my contemporaries and I've read all of them. So there you have it. There you have it. So the total amount of books on my physical TBR is 34. I have 34 books that I own kind of on my shelf area that I haven't read yet, which for the amount of books I have, I think it's actually pretty good. I I feel like my number, my number last year was huge and this year it's less so, but I feel like I've also bought, I've bought a lot of books, but I've actually been reading them. So a lot of the books, a lot of the 34 are books I've had for a long time and I just haven't read, which probably just means I need to unhaul them because I'm not reading them but I am reading the books that I am purchasing, so that's promising, that's good, right? But it's also 34 books, like, if I have two good reading months back to back, I can read them all, falling backwards, don't mind me. Like, I can read 34 books in two months, so it's just a question of if I'm willing to carve out the time for it or unhaul it, which might be a fun kind of vlog thing to do next year is uh, read or DNF or like a try a chapter challenge. That's what I should do. I should do the try chapter challenge so that I know what to do to unhaul and what to keep. Ooh, that's what I should totally do. Okay, comment down below if you agree that is what I should do is the try a chapter challenge. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Feel free to subscribe. I post bookish videos on Sundays and Wednesdays. Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when those go up. And I have bookish social media linked down below. You can follow me there, figure out what I'm going to do. And yeah, I keep like twisting. I just can't be still. Anyway, until I see you all in the next video, I wish you happy reading.